All right, it's finally time for another Tico update. Tico update number five. Now, uh, the reason that uh, I haven't made an update in a while is because there really hasn't been any information from Tico. Now, there's been people in the comments section whining and crying about stuff, and uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that, but um, let's start with what Tico's been up to. So, Tico... Um, a few of the team that uh, did does the the Kickstarter updates and all that. They went on uh, a weekend out to a cottage just to kind of calm down for a little while um, and do some uh, thought processes on um, some other decisions. Understandable. I mean, if you've been doing you know a lot of stressful work, boom, 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 boom for months on months on, on months. A nice little getaway somewhere helps quite a bit. So no uh, fault uh, on them on on that one. So um, basically what they covered in this uh, little mini update is that they've seen all the hardware issues. They've sent out replacements. I know that for some of the people that have requested them. Um, they're, they've shipped out another small batch of 100 uh, Tico's, but this time to uh, Chinese and Hong Kong backers because they're close to the factory and they can work with them one-on-one -on -one a lot easier than they can anywhere else. And that way they can get stuff figured out. Um, they, they said that they have over a thousand printers ready to go. However, with the issues that they've seen with the first 100, they wanted to send out a hundred locally to then get feedback to make sure that what they've changed is is working is going to work so they're going to wait a little while um, probably about a week or two and then they'll uh, see uh, about that uh, shipping the thousands that uh, over a thousand that are already ready um, let's see here they said that they're committed to ensuring that everybody has a good experience. So even though the early birds had issues, if we have issues when we get ours, not to worry, we'll get the same treatment as them and we'll get the replacement stuff and, and all of that um, right away, just like uh, the early birds have gotten. Um, so then they go into talking about the slicer. So the slicer that they were creating um, was because that they felt that the current slicers were too slow uh, for what they wanted to accomplish. So then they started to work on their own and they wanted it to be able to print from mobile devices. Um, so then they started to develop a, a slicer on chip system um, that would slice one layer and get it started and then while it's printing that that layer that it's on slice the second layer and and, and just do that um but for this to work they would have to have ram on the chip uh it within the tico however since they uh found that out late in in development uh, it, it's not possible to add RAM to the chipset that they have chosen for the Tico. Uh, so then, therefore, they said an onboard slicing uh, would not be possible. Okay, we know that they started on the slicer late in development of the hardware. So, okay. Well, and so instead of just scrapping their slicer, though, uh, they decided to, to keep going and... Um, because they could still print from mobile and it was still a really fast slicer. However, it's not it's not done. So with uh, the slicer, you can quickly slice stuff and you can do it from your smartphone. So they just basically uh, salvaged what they had been working on to then basically make it a mobile slicer that's not dependent on OS and, and all of that. So, hey, more power to them. Printing from your smartphone for a 3D printer to me sounds cool. Whatever. Um, so they're like, you know, we ran into some some setbacks. We get that. We need the feedback. Um, but one of the good things is is that no one has uh, 
said that it's really hard to navigate uh, the slicer or the user interface, and it's not hard to set up and start a print. So that they're seeing as a um, step forward for slicer software, and that's why they're proud. They know that they have to refine the actual printing part of their slicer. They get that. But their focus was on ease, easy to use interface for those that are not familiar with using slicer programs. And from what it looks like to me, they have accomplished that. So over time, this, their slicer will get better, um, just like any piece of software. We know that the hardware can print really well. We've seen that with third party slicers. So I, I, I think that is a step in the right direction. Now, let's talk about some of the issues that the backers had um, with their TCOs. And then we'll also go into what this mini update has created. Oh, and by the way, they are going to do an official update in a few days uh, that'll be sent out. That'll be part of the actual Kickstarter update page and not in the comments. So look forward to that. Who knows what's going to be in there? I don't know. But so let's start with... Um, what issues people have seen with with shipping and their printers and, and all that. So um, we had someone that got a Tico that the power apparently was cut. Uh, so that's that's kind of weird. Um, they got their replacement or their, their, they've talked with Tico and they're getting their replacement. Um, one of the guys that had the glue issue as well as I, th I believe another issue, he's gotten his replacement, which actually is the newer-ish model with the newer wiring um, for the power and has another, uh, uh, and the new glue. So he says that, that that's going well on him. So it looks like the issues that people have been having with the Tico um, have been with, with shipping and you know a few QA uh, stuff, but it looks like Tico is working hard to to get that fixed. Um, the guys said that the new shipping material, the shipping material hasn't changed. However, it did uh, survive the shipping, uh, and one guy said that his had definitely been dropped on a corner. So that I think is uh, good um, on that front. Now, let's get into the conspiracy theories uh, that are going around with these uh, mini updates as well as what their silence brings. So the reason that uh, people think that they were silent for real was because they, they see this controversy, these 100 people uh, having some issues as a failure. And so Tico wanted to stay silent uh, on the comments, um, because then if they stay silent about it, then the investors won't see it typically because they're not going to go to the Kickstarter page. And so Tico is really a failure. They failed. And, you know, this is the sign that, that Tico's dead and we need to abandon ship. Refund, 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 refund. No, that's, that's not the case. But, you know, people, whatever. So, uh, and then there's a comment of, uh, you know, they understand the attraction of local dispatch, the 100 to China. Uh, but the cynic in this person says that it's, it's more convenient because Chinese backers are less likely to post on the, on the uh, Tico Kickstarter page. And so <laughs> uh, we'll never know if they address the issues with the Bowden tube or anything like that. Um, and so, you know, he, and he's seen someone else's video, the guy that got the new uh, Tico with the new power cable, and he's not impressed with that power cable. And uh, so he, he's a power cable attached to a power socket by solder and heat shrunk, heat shrink tubing rather than securing clips to take any flexing away from the joint. The cables pass between a pair of moving arms. So he's not happy uh, with with that. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I'm surprised the twisted cables aren't inside a, a sheath to allow flexibility, but with support. I'm quite nervous of a long-term reliability of the cables when I see twisted cable cabling being used with moving parts. I am not an engineer. I can't easily tell where the cable connects to and whether it could be supported rather than hanging loose. I'm really surprised at the position of the power socket itself between the rail extrusion at the, at the extreme edge. So I guess the motor arm assembly travel will ride up, uh, will ride up it. Uh, it's highly likely my unit will end up on eBay. I really wanted an easy experience, but it looks like Tico isn't reliable customer consumer friendly unit that I wanted. Nobody has said the filament feed issue is is gone. That would be that would have been good to hear. I'm not gonna name names, uh, but this is a, a a guy that it's been a a naysayer uh, quite a bit. But then. When someone goes to the naysayer extreme that he is feeding, goes, whoa, 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 everybody, let's calm, let's calm down. Let's calm down. We don't need to naysay that much. Um, <laughs> so he admits that he's not an engineer, but he's attacking an engineering problem. Um, I'll try and put up the photos of the new Tico that the guy got. I think it looks fine. Again, I am not an engineer. However, no one else has complained uh, about that issue. But I mean, the conspiracy of that Chinese backers aren't going to post on the forms or we're not going to see it. And that's the reason. That's the reason that they're shipping to China. Not, not, not because they're nervous, not because they want to work with them, and not because they want to make sure that, that there, it is a consumer-friendly device. No, 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 no. It's a conspiracy. They're going to ship the 100 to China, and no matter what the Chinese say, they're going to say, okay, whatever, and just ship the, the bad ones. Anyway, no matter what happens with the Chinese backers. I mean, the... the that's just so stupid to think about it. I, I, I just, I don't get it. Um, but let's, uh, <laughs> so the Chinese backers are not going to, not, not going to post, but, uh, let's, let's see here. Oh, look, here's a comment. I'm a Chinese backer located in Hong Kong, and I can assure you I will be actively posting comments and prints here on uh, the Kickstarter page, as well as the Facebook page, and provide any feedback to the Tico team to aid them in improving their product once I get my hands on the printer. I just got the shipping information. I'm pretty stoked. So it looks like that theory got broken in like three comments. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess I'm just really tired of these naysayers that admit that they really know nothing and they're looking at these things and just, just basically complaining to complain. Um, I'm only delivering what actual backers have said actual photos actual print videos stuff like that i'm not i can't say if the product's good or not i haven't gotten it i'd like to get one i'm really low on the list so that's you know gonna be a while and probably by then these update videos won't be needed and then i'll just shift to once i finally get the printer to actual print uh videos so I, I think people need to calm down. I think people need to understand that they're, they're a small team. This is new manufacturing. Even big manufacturers that have been making stuff for years when they make a new product have issues. It's just the way that stuff works. So things get better as time goes on. Um, so 
we can only hope for the best, and we hope that Tico is around uh, for the long haul. And I, I think they are. So, you know, I, I say good luck to them, and I look forward um, to to Tico basically uh, creating the product uh, that that they hoped to create. Um, you know, there there are a lot of things that um, come up during the process of creating something, and you just can't predict it. And especially for a small team that's new to this, I think they've handled a lot of the, a lot of those really well. And that's the only thing that I can hope for um, is that they're willing to admit their mistakes and move on and you know get things done to make it better. And it looks like they have so far. So I, I can't fault them um, on anything. Um, so I, I look forward to, to Tico itself getting better, the hardware. I'm looking forward to the slicer program they have getting better, um, which a lot of people are. <laughs> a lot of people took the mini update for the slicer as if they the, as if they were like stupid or something. I, I have no idea. Um, someone says that it's it's a skeleton in the closet um, because you know when people asked about software, they said that they were saying you know that it was um innovative and 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 you know great and all this and then you know now they're like well it's really a failure because you didn't even know that you needed the ram and and all of that um but you know whatever i'm glad that everybody it seems like that everybody immediately becomes shipping experts storage experts engineers, software developers, networkers, all of a sudden, you know, you back the Kickstarter and boom, you're, you're an expert and you know more than the people actually doing it on the ground floor, uh, with your very, very little information that they give you. So I think people just need to calm down. They're actually shipping, which is way better than most Kickstarters get to. Um, and the hardware is good. Um, it works well. So throughout this video, I'm sure I'm going to scatter a video of actual prints. Um, and I'll put all the links down in the description of, of those uh, prints. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll try to keep everybody posted. There really hasn't been that much news. This is the most that, that I've seen uh, for, for a little while. Um, so if you have any more questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Um, as well as I can, a lot of stuff I just don't know, um, because there's no information on it. So the best you can do is go to the Kickstarter page and, and read the comments and read what's going on. Um, hopefully you can decipher who actually has one and who doesn't. Um, I know that's hard. So if you don't want to do that, just wait for, for these update videos and I'll try and keep you, um, as informed as possible on what Tico is doing and what's going on. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for, for liking this video. If you liked it, dislike it. If you dislike it, I don't care. Uh, leave a comment down below again with any questions or concerns, and I'll try to, to answer them and, and get, you know, using what Tico has, has said and not necessarily what, uh, commenters have said. So it, it's a hard process. So, We'll see you in the next video and hopefully it's a video about them shipping out like a whole bunch of Ticos or something. So, uh, yep. Thanks for watching.